Well, with the indexes having set record after record, you think it's an easy market to make money in. But then why are so many of the fund managers struggling? Dominic Chu explains the difference between active and passive funds and what that may mean for your investments. When it comes to investing, there are two major schools of thought. The first is choosing investment managers or funds that seek to outperform the market. The second is just finding a way to invest to match the market's returns. There is a raging debate on Wall Street about which is better. Those who believe management expertise can generate superior relative returns believe in something called active management. Those who believe the market can't be consistently beat and therefore simply investing in the market is the best way to go believe in something called passive management or indexing. So far this year, indexers have been able to claim bragging rights. According to investing research firm Morningstar, the average index mutual fund has gained a little over 5% through the end of October. Meanwhile, the average actively managed mutual fund has returned around 4.5%. The outperformance of index versus active is echoed in some of the biggest mutual funds. Vanguard's total stock market index fund is the biggest stock index fund in America. It's got around $370 billion in assets, according to Morningstar. It's gained approximately 10% year to date. The biggest actively managed fund is the American Fund's Growth Fund of America, with $142 billion in assets. It's gained about 8% so far this year. Proponents of both styles of investing will point to their own stats showing their superiority, but many financial advisors believe that there's a role that each can play in a well-diversified portfolio. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dominic Chu.